President, please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The chamber is back in session. Reprise de l'audience. And I would like to give the floor to the international deputy co-prosecutor to continue questioning the expert. You may now proceed. Pour poursuivre l'interrogatoire du témoin. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le témoin. Monsieur le président, pardon. Professor, we left Professor, uh, talking about the importance nous, nous nous of revolutionary consciousness as part of the de CPK um, ideology. Dans le cadre de l'idéologie like du PCK, j'aimerais citer votre e3 livre E3-3346 English 0043 Page 195 à 196 du livre. Vous abordez la question de la prise de conscience révolutionnaire dans le Parti communiste. Vous avez cité une sous-section d'un article de septembre-octobre 1976. C'est le numéro de l'étendard révolutionnaire intitulé aiguiser la prise de conscience des classes prolétaires pour qu'elle soit aussi aiguë et forte and que possible. Et dans cette sous-section, intitulée « Que devons-nous essayer d'éliminer ?» Et sur quoi devons-nous essayer de I'll construire Je vais vous lire cet extrait. Nous devons éliminer dans chaque membre du parti, dans chaque cadre, tout ce qui vient de la classe des oppresseurs, la propriété privée, la position, la vision, les sentiments, la coutume, la littérature, l'art, éléments qui existent en nous-mêmes, en grande ou petite quantité. It is just the same. Quant à la construction, we must build a proletarian class worldview. De même, nous devons construire une vision du monde de la classe prolétaire, un mode de vie de la classe prolétaire, construire une position de la classe prolétaire en ce qui concerne la pensée, les habitudes de vie, la moralité, les sentiments, etc. So my question is based on your research, the documentation, de vos recherches, and your interviews, des what was the revolutionary consciousness menés, that the CPK leadership wanted que les dirigeants du PCK each person to have? Voulaient inculquer à chaque personne. Uh, quite simply, uh, to follow the CPK line Simplement pour and to la have an appropriate PCK revolutionary stance as is evident by the party appropriée. statutes, which mention stance over and over and over again. Um, but again, I view this as an absolutely critical aspect of uh, DK ideology, CPK ideology, CPK ideology. Uh, and also when I first began to talk at the very beginning, in terms of speaking début, about genocide, this is a critical factor with relationship to the Jams. Uh, I don't necessarily believe that there was a sort of racial Jams. intent at the very beginning. Je ne suis pas sûr y a eu une there might have been animosity of some sort there, départ, but what I think happened over time is the consciousness au fil, au fil of the Jam as a group became increasingly suspect. Eventually, they were viewed as a threat and targeted. So it didn't stem from overt racism, but in fact from their inability to sharpen their consciousness as a group by the fact they rebelled um, and to understand. I think that makes Vietnamese are a little bit different. But for the Jam, I think that's a, uh, this is sort of at the heart of much of what was going on. It's, as an example, comparatively, if you look at Mayans in Guatemala, uh, what Mayans began as a Guatemala, fight of the army against insurgents, for example, eventually turned against Mayan villagers who were viewed as being you know, comparable to counter-revolutionaries and enemy forces, and they became the target. Uh, and there, anyway, so I'm sure you know the findings on them in terms of genocide as well. So, so I'll, I'll wait to discuss the issue of, of genocide per se now, now. but what, what I will ask is why 
Why is revolutionary con consciousness? J'aimerais savoir Why pourquoi was it so critical la prise de conscience révolutionnaire in terms of pourquoi cette what notion était-elle aussi importante in democratic par rapport à ce qui s'est passé that? aux exécutions au Cambodge démocratique? Pourquoi faites-vous cette déclaration? Because it was the basis of the formulation of a pure revolutionary citizen, what's been called revolutionary man in some of the literature. But the pure revolutionary is one who followed the line. I mentioned Dan Pain before. Uh, the Red Heart uh, was an example that was actually promoted. There were, uh, I've heard, performances in the countryside after 1975 of someone who had a correct line, who had a correct stance, who struggled without fail all the way to the point of dying and writing uh, a poem and blood on it with his own blood and his jail cell at the end. Uh, he was an ideal revolutionary. He was actually, I believe, mentioned at one point in the Doik trial when Doik said, I always wanted to struggle as hard as uh, Dan Peng, but he would have to check the record. This demand, we can see certainly in the, the piece that uh, that I read to you from the revolution, revolutionary flag and you say is being repeated in the, in the CPK statute in terms of stance. This, this demand that CPK to think that way, um, are you saying that this is a ideological manipulation in, in a form of brainwashing? How they think? C'est le fait de conditionner leur mode de pensée. Um, so, in one sense, the answer is yes. I, I should just add that brainwashing, in some sense, the way it's been used historically suggests that those who are doing the brainwashing don't believe what they're doing and are solely out to manipulate people. It falls into sort of the monster, perpetrator as monster. Uh, that's, I think, inaccurate. I think those things we call brainwashing often come from people who believe in what they're doing and have a strong belief and they try and get others to follow them and they try and convince others to believe in what they say. And more than that, they may try and almost in some sense force them to through ideological channels, through re-education, uh, if you have a state apparatus behind you. But I think it would be, it's important to, you know, I think the top leaders believed in the line and stands, uh, at least at the very top of the uh, en la ligne et en standing la committee. Um, from your research, from your interviews, de vos did the uh, de vos recherches, CPK uh, uh, organization, shall we say, du PCK, did it um, force Khmer Rouge cadre and others to build Khmer Rouge et les autres this revolutionary consciousness? Cette prise de did they force that to happen? And if they did, what tools did they Et use si le cas, to do that? Quels outils avaient-ils utilisés pour ce faire? I object, uh, Mr. President, to this Objection question. Objection à cette question, Monsieur um, le Président. Prosecution is now le procureur élargit uh, le champ d'expertise de manière And spectaculaire. As far as we know, the expert has spoken to a few Comme people, nous le savons, l'espère s'est entretenu avec quelques personnes, peut-être des cadres de Khmer Rouge. Il n'a parlé à personne occupant un poste de responsabilité. Outre le fait qu'il a dit que le marxisme-léninisme était un précurseur du génocide, je pense que cette question sort du champ d'expertise du témoin. Il n'est pas un expert en sciences politiques ni en communisme, encore moins en marxisme-léninisme. Il n'a parlé à personne occupant un poste de responsabilité au sein du camp de démocratique et cette question ne devrait pas être autorisée. L'espère n'est pas tenu de répondre à cette question. L'espère a étudié la propagande dans plusieurs pays.